All right, yeah, so we got the nice shaders going. So uh, we've got the connected glass textures. We've got the, the nice warm lighting effects on the, on the torch there. Uh, if we look outside, uh, it's still got to load in, but uh, everything looks really, really nice. The, the torches are the best. Uh, I don't have a resource pack yet. Well, okay, the water's the best. But uh, I don't have a resource pack yet. I just got the shader pack installed. But it still looks really amazing. Uh, looks like the moon doesn't look a lot better, but the sun definitely does. But it's still really cool. I'm really happy with this shader pack. Alright. We're going to try to figure out what we're up to. I think we were starting. Yeah, look at, look at those lighting effects. There's the sun. Yeah! <laughs> Okay. We were doing... What were we doing? My guess is some astral sorcery stuff since we just got a resonating wand. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, under discovery... Oh, my God. I have to zoom so far in. Uh, we have to do a luminous crafting table, which means we have to find one of those big shrines and put a crafting table underneath it. So, unfortunately, right now, it's all about um, finding one of those big shrines. So, that's what we were doing last time when we, when we stopped, I believe. So, we look at the map. We've got some orbs. We found a crater. I think we found a couple of small shrines. I know we've got the small shrine here that we looted. I guess let's head uh, straight south. Let's see if we can find one of the big shrines is what we need. Yeah, I'll have to get a resource pack for, uh, for this. I'll see if there's a, a specific one that they recommend for it. But I enabled all the, uh, all the Optifine stuff and uh, it looks like the memory, wow, is uh, is doing better. And uh, the FPS seems to be pretty solid. Now, what is, I mean, it's magma blocks. Nether rack. Chest right here? A nether banana. Golden Sword of Magic Siphon. Obsidian, a clock. Please, gold ingot, a fire charge. What is what is this doing here? Bars. Crying Obsidian. Alright. That's fucking weird. Yeah, at waypoint. Weird nether stuff. <laughs> All right, let's let's go. Yeah, as as nice as the shader pack looks, it's still a little jarring. Uh, with the with the standard graphics, I think if you get a a resource pack that's just a little nicer, uh, it's it's a nice. Um, combination. Right there. Uh, mental shard, a tentacle. A tentacle is a light snack. Oh, fuck. Okay. I thought it just locked up on me. Keep heading south here. Through the woods. To grandmother's house we go, I guess. So what we're looking for is there's there's three different types of astral sorcery shrines. The one we found was the smallest one. And then there's nothing in them but one or two chests. Uh, one of which is usually full of astral sorcery stuff, the other is just full of random kind of nonsense. Um, there's a medium one, there's a fat bee. Look how fat it is. Actually, this is a tiny guy. What kind of bee is it? 
I get so easily sidetracked. Um, I don't remember what the medium ones are. Luscious surroundings. It must be in like a specific. I don't. I don't know. What is what is that making those particle effects? I don't know what would be causing that. Not in like a special biome or anything that I can tell. Okay. Um, I don't remember what the medium ones have, and then the large ones, if you dig underneath them, there's actually a shrine underneath, and it's got a crystal that you can use for crafting. Um, astral sorcery stuff, and that's what you need to make the luminous crafting table. That's what we're looking for. So far, no luck. Oh, that's right, those hurt. God damn it. Give me the give me the fruit. There's a couple of fat bees. What kind of bees are you? Mason bees. Okay. <sighs> Doesn't look like we've uh, ran past one and not noticed it anywhere. It looks like there might be something here. It's not a shrine. There might be a structure here, and then there might be something back here. Uh, what time is it? Since, you know, we have a, a clock. It looks like it's noon. We'll probably have to start heading back soon. So on our way back, we'll uh, we'll loop back and check those out. No luck so far. Uh, looks like we have some sheep across the way there. A bunch of these berries we can uh, can scarf down. I, uh, I realized when I generated this world that uh, I accidentally selected the wrong world gen type. So instead of having biomes of plenty and realistic generation, it's realistic generation with large biomes. So we don't actually have biomes of plenty enabled, which I don't think is a problem. Uh, biomes of plenty really doesn't add anything gameplay wise it's all you know aesthetics with the different biomes and stuff and there are a few things it adds a little like hobbit hole here what is this it, oh yeah hobbit hole nothing in the furnace uh lantern i'll take a lantern pretty nice Huh? Yeah, lanterns are cool. We found a hobbit hole. Uh, let's, uh, let's check off to the left here. Looks like there might be a structure of some kind over there. Nah. Looks like my, it might just be, uh, you know, birch wood or something. Oh, uh, it's, uh, Oh, well, there's a chest here. Some crystals. Eh, I mean, nothing... Nothing exciting, but it's... Free stuff. Uh, I don't know what that is. This is a shrine we found earlier. This, I think, is what we wanted to check out, was this over here. So we'll go see if we can find that spot. 
And then, um, I don't know what we're gonna do. Blazing Archwood. Um, because... <clears throat> we're... We're having problems... Finding this thing without having to go... More than a day travel. So, I might have to look to see if there's something like a sleeping bag. That I can make. So that if it gets dark, then I can just sleep instead of having to wait it out in a... A hidey hole. That's boring as shit. Is there anything here? Doesn't look like it. Let's say it was, you know, just... Just the way the map generated. That's a bunch of illagers. I don't want nothing to do with those guys. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought there might be another shrine over here, though. Let's just grab all this stuff and uh, head home. It's getting dark. good timing. We turned around about at the right spot. Alright, we're home. Uh, so this uh, we can remove. What are, what are all these weird nether stuff? Get the orbs. Um, I guess we can still head up through here. That's pretty close to home. Uh, we gotta we gotta clear some of this crap out of our inventory though. Uh, so how do we have this sorted? This looks like food stuff. Yeah. Fud, and then stuff that grows basically. And then not. Nah. That stuff. This is basically how we have it set. Um, a lantern we can like hang up right in the middle here. It's pretty cool. Uh, ink sack we don't have. Uh, tentacles are technically like snackos. Our inventory space is already at a premium here. We should have picked a couple of those chests up and brought them back with us. That's okay. It doesn't matter. Do that. And just make a couple more. Like a so. And we'll do like mob drops or something in this one. We got like that, and that, and uh, bones, and gunpowder, right? All oh, that can go kind of in there. And this will be like tools, weapons, armor, that kind of stuff. Apparently we don't have a lot of. I think I get rid of that fucking wooden sword. I don't need that. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> uh, books. Sure. Mm. Uh, clock. A lot of that kind of stuff. Alright, let's sleep it off. And we'll head to the uh, northwest in the morning. Out the door. We got some burning zeds. Ooh, a whole bunch of them. Got him. He dropped something. He dropped an iron sword. It's got like no charges left on it, but might be able to find a use for it somewhere. The creeper over that way. I don't like yo. Damn creepy creepers. Creepy creeperson.
digging this ambient soundtrack, especially here in the woods. And you see like the little magical like particle effects come up from the ground. It feels feels very integrated to the game. Bunch of bees. I'm kind of keeping an eye on my uh, my mini map in the upper right. Let's see if I can see any anything off outside of my you know, my cone of vision. Uh oh, hey, a waystone. Mermiark. What is this doing here? Like, there's no... Usually these would show up near a village. Or uh, something. There's a meteorite. Well... I don't know what Mermiark is supposed to be. But this is gonna... Come home with me. And go at my home base. So basically the way those work is you can teleport between any two of them as long as they're uh, within a certain distance. Uh, and it costs XP, but the most it costs is like 3 XP. And if you're teleporting like 1500 blocks, uh, instantaneously 3 XP is worth. Let's check this out. Pretty much directly south of us. I don't think it's a shrine, but it's so close by we might as well check it. Even if it's not a shrine, it might be something cool. <laughs> oh, it's one of those, uh... Well, there'll be a chest there. Assuming I haven't already gotten it. Oh, no chest. So that probably means we already got it. Uh, we already looted it, so we'll remove that. Alright, let's keep going this way. Uh, looks like there's probably another one here. So we'll keep moving towards that. The one thing I don't like about this map as much is... Uh, I feel like it's harder to see your waypoints at a distance. It's not terrible. I just, journey map felt better for that. Not a big deal though. You can figure it out. We're, uh, we're an adult, mostly. Some sticks and yeah, chest there. That's great. Uh, scroll paper for elemental craft. I have no idea if that's any any good or not. Apparently, I should have been mining the insides of these out. I just I just thought about that. Like maybe I should check to see if there's anything inside of it. Block of gold. Hell yeah. So any of those we come across, we're gonna have to remember to mine the inside out of too. Uh, this might actually be a shrine. And it looks like there's another one. Yeah, it's a small one, though. So, not exactly what we're looking for. But still not bad, because there's always going to be stuff here that we need. Um, aquamarines, diamonds. I didn't expect to get a diamond out of that. The aquamarine's helpful. So this one only had one chest in it. Uh, and then we've got another one kind of off of this direction. It looks like maybe that might be another hobbit hole right there. Yep. I don't know if there's ever anything in there or if they're all just kind of barren, but yeah, another hobbit hole. Take another lantern. If we needed a bed, we'd be able to snag a bed. 
well here. 